Hello everyone and welcome back to the A38's YouTube channel. You're here with Andrew and today I'm at the Bath Road Heronry in the Cuyahoga Valley National Park. You may hear cars buzzing by me right now and I'll get to that in a second. But if you're asking the question, what is a heronry? It's a mass group of great blue heron nesting grounds. There's anywhere between 50 and 100 nests in the trees we're about to look at. And we're in what we call a marshland. And uh, I'm going to give you a little more information once we start looking at the area around us. So follow me along and I hope you enjoy. Here is what you see at the pull-off. The reason you see so many cars is it, it is literally a pull-off because it is very, very tough to trek through miles of woods to actually get to a marshland. But we're fortunate enough that the great people who oversee the Cuyahoga Valley National Park have left this to our discretion. Excuse the traffic that's going on behind me, but I crossed the street and as you can see marshland And there are heron nests right there They're there. I mean they are everywhere up in the trees some ranging from 30 to 70 feet off the ground Now Herons are a very skittish bird I've seen a few pop up, but it is towards the fall, so they're probably not going to be too widely seen here. Now they lay eggs, obviously, but their hatching period is anywhere between April and May. You can hear them actually, somewhere. And that's when the group is most active. They'll probably come back somewhere in the late end of February in a thing called Rookery. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, I missed him. Which is their, uh, their mating habits. So they look for a mate during that time and they'll lay eggs and hatch between April and May. And from what I've read, these are car passing. They're permanent home or halfway permanent and they'll come back to the nest they built somewhere at the end of February. There's some more up in this tree here. There's a pretty good look at them. And they're made with pine needles, uh, sticks, mud, stuff like that. Anything that you can find in the Cuyahoga Valley National Park. Basically what the nest is composed of but it is a sight for sore eyes I didn't come at the best time of the year because as you may know birds migrate quite a bit there's some right there as well but I might gather the crew around maybe come back during the nesting and hatching period for these for these birds and uh, maybe explore all of Cuyahoga National Valley or Cuyahoga Valley National Park because there is a there's a quite a bit to do here I took a few strides down and there is a big group of them right there I'd imagine a dozen in this shot right here now these tracks are not from a great blue heron, however, comma, these berries look like a food source for both species. The tracks I just showed you are from a white-tailed deer. There's a good look at some nests right there in that tree. There's some right there. And then here's a good look because that tree is bare of the nest that they'll come back to. Now, if you were to visit this place, I would suggest that you come when the birds are in abundance, which they are not right now. But if we do not see one, I will 
put a photo in the video showing you what a great blue heron looks like.